Dursley Rugby Football Club, together with the Running Club, are involved in a major project to replace the existing changing rooms at Stinchcombe, which are no longer fit for purpose. This short video provides the background to the whole project that we've called Changing for the Future. The new changing rooms, located between the cart park and where the existing changing rooms are currently, will be fit for purpose for the next 20 years. For example, the changing rooms will be developed with an integrated electrical supply, photovoltaics and solar hot water built in. The changing rooms will also have an integrated photoelectrics air sourced heat system. We'll also be capturing and recycling rainwater, something we have plenty of here in the UK. Another feature is that we'll be using environmentally approved secure wooden cladding. As you can see from the plans showing, we're making maximum use of every inch to provide the facilities we so desperately need. The new building will contain six independent male and female changing rooms and shower facilities with toilets, as well as separate disabled toilets. This means that we'll be able to have men's, ladies, boys and girls games going on all at the same time, something the existing facilities just don't allow us to do. The officials will also have their own male and female changing rooms. Another essential catered for is a dedicated first aid room and there'll also be plenty of space for kit storage which is something we're sadly lacking right now. In addition, new changing room facilities will allow us to move on to phase two of our social spaces plans. We'll be able to expand the social space to better meet the needs of our membership utilising the old changing room buildings. As you can see, the changing for the future plans have been developed to be RFU compliant, environmentally sensitive cost-effective, player-centric and designed to meet the needs of the club's vision and strategy. To sum up, the changing rooms are essential for the future of the club. The designs are complete, planning permission has been obtained, the facility is RFU compliant. We've had great support from the RFU, GRFU, sponsors and club members who are providing goods in kind. But now, the club needs your input to finish the job. We expect to appoint our designated contractors by June. We aim to move the footpath and install the underground cabling this summer, with construction starting in the spring of 2016. The new changing rooms will be in full use for the 2016-17 season. In providing for the future, the task force has taken into account the need to have an economical running cost for the changing rooms over the next 10 years. As a result, we believe the capital cost of completing the project will be around £520,000, including VAT. So far, we have grant applications pending for £126,000. We have benefits in kind promised of £130,000, an RFU loan of £60,000, and money raised through the balls and festivals of £12,000. Grants awarded £12,000, and finally the cash at bank of £20,000. That leaves a balance of around £160,000 that we need to raise together. To raise that amount, we need everybody's help to make a contribution in whatever way you can and there are a variety of ways you can make that contribution. For example, you could hold sporting events or hold other fundraising events. You may even be able to find sponsors who are willing to support the club. Maybe your employer, a friend, supplier or even a customer would be interested in sponsoring the club. However you're supporting the club, we can provide you with support. For example, we can give you a comprehensive sponsorship pack that you can pass on. We can give you supporting leaflets. And we will also provide visible recognition of any sponsors at the club and through any local media coverage. So what does a sponsorship package look like? There are many packages available, from the very small amounts at the bottom to the larger amounts at the top. We are looking for the support of all club members to identify suitable individuals or companies to approach to sponsor the new facilities. £100 gets your membership to the Ben Morgan Ton Up Club. This is open to members, family, friends and anyone who is inspired by what Dursley Rugby Club stands for in the local community. And finally, speaking of Ben, here's a word from one of the club's famous sons and a great supporter of the club, England International and Gloucester No. 8, Ben Morgan. As you can see, this changing room is really poor, uh, really needs upgrading. Uh, there was over 400 kids here today and uh, the facilities here need to be better. We need better changing rooms, so uh, try and help out. 
Dursley RFC, changing for the future. We're all in this together. So please contact Roger Batty, Ken Eels, anyone from the management committee, or even your age group coach if you think you can help in any way.